Hi guys, I've been asked by Apishek Sharma to have a look at a little flashing LED circuit. First of all he asked me to have a look at the one by Ludic Science. Uh, in fact, that's it there. And then he asked me to have a look at one by Eric Wasatonic. They're basically identical. The difference between the two is on Ludic Sciences one, he's got the battery, 1k ohm resistor, a 20, uh, 220 microfarad capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, and then over here he's got the transistor, LED, and 100 ohm resistor. In the case of Eric Wasatonic's circuit, he doesn't use that 100 ohm resistor and his LED is on the other side of the transistor. So it goes positive, 1k ohm resistor, LED, then the transistor. So they look both, both the same. I'll put links in the video description anyway so you can look at the original circuits. And I built them up here. Um, say so Ludic Sciences says 220, 220 microfarads. Eric Wasatonic says any value capacitor. And I've managed to get them to work. I can't get it to work with a 220 microfarad capacitor, but I can get it to work with a thousand or 2200. So I'll demonstrate. So we've got my LiPo battery here, which will give us somewhere between 11, 12, maybe a little bit more volts. I've got my 1k ohm resistor there. I've got the 2N222 transistor there with the gate sticking up in the air because we don't use it. I've got the diode there. I've got it rigged up so we can put the capacitor across here and in the case of Ludic Sciences circuit we'd have the resistor there but you'll notice it's not actually flashing. In the case of Eric Wasatonic we do away with that resistor and we just connect directly across to there and you see we've got a flashing LED oh I suppose to be exact in Eric Wasatonic's we have this LED there and then the transistor that's Eric Wasatonic's circuit and the previous one was Ludic Science. So with the 100 ohm resistor in there I can't get this to run but I'm pretty sure that will be just down to exactly which transistor you use. It may say 2N2222 on it but there's lots of different ones. I can't remember I think this one's got a letter at the end of it. Yeah, this one's a 2N2222A, so that may be what the problem is, it's just a different value transistor. But if I come straight across here, and we're flashing fine, that's with 1000 microfarads. This one's 2200. So we get a slower flash, but if I try, well, that one's supposed to be 
220 microfarads. And I don't know if that will reach across that gap there. No, I'll have to uh, rewire this a bit. Very fast flash now, aren't we? And what happens if we try the hundred ohm resistor there? Well, that's either flashing so fast we can't see it, or that's a permanent glow. So, putting that one in seems to make all the difference. What one's that? That's a hundred microfarads. And that looks like a permanent glow to me. in the camera now and in the camera that is flashing fast so the camera's picking it up but I'm not so that may be the problem it may be for Abhishek it's actually working but it's flashing so fast you can't see it there we go anyway so I'll put links to Eric Wassertonic and Ludic Science, if I can find it. I couldn't find a Ludic Science video, but I could find Eric Wassertonic's.